today I'm going to be working on the steering shaft setup for the thing and what I've got here is I have a piece of 5 8 solid rod and it is 30 inches long we have some 7 8 DOM tubing that will be able, that will fit around this and it's 8th inch thick so we're going to have a nice comfortable fit right there we have one that's cut at a half inch we have another one that's cut at one inch one inch long then we have another one here that is cut from point to end it's an inch and one quarter this angle is a 40 degree angle okay the center before I weld the spindles on or the spindle brackets here from one edge across this bar all the way straight across was 35 inches now half of 35 inches is 17 and a half so where you see that black mark right there that's 17 and a half inches from the end of this bar but then I welded the brackets on so we're actually measuring from the inside of the bracket all the way over to the inside of this bracket which is the length of this bar or actually these two bars that are split in the center remember when we made that so 17 and a half inches from the end of either bar not the inside the bar okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to take this piece here and this is going to be my steering shaft cradle that's what I'm going to call it I don't know what their technical name is but I'm going to weld it right there on the inside of the bar I'm going to make sure that when I do weld it that it's going to be adjusted right and it's not going to be sitting over this way or sitting back over this way or anything like that it needs to be straight okay so when we set the steering shaft in here we have to make sure that the shaft is going to go up through the center of the cart not the center of here so we need to measure we need to set up the center of the steering shaft according to the front end not the main frame because the main frame is offset by one inch so we want to make sure that the steering shaft is going to go straight up the center of the cart I'm going to be making the pitman arm now for this. What I'm going to do is, since I drew a straight line, not on this spindle, but on my other one, I know that drawing a straight line straight across here and measuring from that straight line to the center of the kingpin is three inches. I want to make sure that the center of my steering column to where the tie rods are going to connect to are going to be about a little less than that well actually less than that it's the way I want to be able to set this up so the distance between here and where my tie rod connectors are going to connect to I decided I'm going to set it up at two and a half inches so I cut a piece of here hold on two inch flat stock at three and one quarter inches long found the center of that at one inch then I measured in seven sixteenths that's where the center of my drill bits gonna go for the five eighths inch rod steering column that's where my steering column is gonna go so straight across from here halfway in the bar I'm now going to 
I measured down, since I want it to be two and a half inch, two and a half inches, I measured from this point down two and a half inches to right here. Made that little white dot. Then drew a line straight across and put a small little mark there and a small little mark there in this spot and this spot are where my tie rod connections are going to go. So I'm going to drill 5 8 inch hole right here. Or no, 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 no. I'm going to drill a 5 16 hole here and a 5 16 here. This one will be a 5 8 and then once I get those drilled, I'll then put in some pattern, you know, in here where, you know, I'll cut out some of this material. So that way it doesn't look too bulky. Alright, so I got the uh, 5 16 inch bit uh, holes drilled. Got the 5 8 And I also chopped off, you know, some of this extra stuff using my trusty grinding wheel. Or not grinding wheel, actually it's cutting wheel. So, now, to put this on the steering shaft before I actually really start welding the hell out of everything. So, okay, so I got the uh, Pittman arm stuck on here. Now, I could put this anywhere I really wanted to, but kind of one of the rules about putting these things on is you want to be able to make sure that your tie rods, when you put them on, they're going to be as close to the same level as your connection is on your spindle. So, if we look down here, you can see that's pretty dang close. That's pretty dang parallel with the front bar here. But, keep in mind also that because there is more material over on this side, once I put the tie rod in, it's going to come really close to this bar because there's more material going over this way getting closer to the spindle. So once I put this on, the tie rod is going to be closer to this bar than it will be to this bar. Now I'm going to make sure that this is going to come down as far as I can get it. And that's where I'm going to weld it. I'm going to weld it right there. Okay, so now I've got that welded up. Now I'm going to slide on this half inch piece of uh, of the seven eighths, and that piece, this piece here, is going to be welded to the shaft. And the reason is because once I figure out where I want my shaft to sit, this one inch piece will be welded to wherever, whatever my archway is going to be. Then this here will come up and be welded to that. Well, or actually this piece will be welded to the shaft. So that way that will create a pinch since the shaft can't go down because of the cradle and it can't go up because this piece here will be welded, will be tack welded in three, three different spots to the shaft. So it will still be able to rotate. You'll understand this as I go on here. But anyway, so then I was sitting there thinking, okay, now what am I going to do? Up, Jesus, what am I going to do about that up there? Well, I thought about using um, one of the steering wheels that um, Big Head Od Odyssey uh, sent me. Big Head Oddy sent me, and then I realized, no, I got to have hand controls for this. I want hand controls for this. So um, I went looking around and I found this thing, these handlebars. Uh, sitting over by one of these sheds and I asked the guy about it and he said I could have them. Then, since George did send me these things, Big Head Odyssey also, also sent me these things when I did the box full of goodies and they fit. So, now what I need to do is I need to find some nuts for it and what I'm going to do then is I took a piece of 2 inch flat stock and measured it out at four inches, like that. Okay. Then I figured out what the center of it, center of it would be, two inches. And then I measured the distance that I want these to be set at, and that was two and seven eighths. So then I took the two and seven eighths and divided that by two, and it came out to be one and seven sixteenths, I think. So then I did the exact same thing I did on this as I did at the caliper. I adjusted it to 
one and seven sixteenths, stuck that in the center, and then marked marked it at zero and two and seven eighths. It's two and seven eighths which is the distance between here and here that I'm going to set it up as. So then, I'll be able to drill the two holes here for these two bolts to slide through, and then I have to go get some nuts. I, I, I looked around, I don't have any that are going to fit this, so I have to go buy some Ace Hardware. And then I'm going to drill a hole in the center, and then this hole right here will sit on the shaft right there, and then I'll just weld that on. So, this will be doing the, oh wait, well, you know, the other way. Like that. Okay? So now once I get that on there, and I look like a gypsy driving down the street, I gotta make sure that I'm gonna have the hand control. So what I'm gonna do is I got these to like a mini bike, just standard things. I got these from uh, someplace, and I can't remember where. It wasn't BMI, it was somewhere else. I can't remember where. But they had them on sale so I bought actually two sets of these so I've got the throttle but I don't have a brake and I thought about using this thumb this thumb one as a brake but nah, that's not a very good idea I think what I'll do is I'll get the get a handle a uh, handbrake for it put it on there yeah so that's probably what I'm going to do tomorrow because right now it's a little late for me to be grinding and cutting and drilling and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow and because it's getting dark and cold and I'm just kind of tired so uh, that's what we got going on right now. So I'll talk with you guys tomorrow. Okay, well maybe I didn't quite call it a night yet. I decided to make that plate right there. And uh, I already drilled all the holes and stuck it on the rod. And I had to, since I welded that first and it has that flat spot, I set it up like that to make sure that's straight up and down. And then welded that into place. Whee! So now, I can stick these right in there. Yeah. Okay, so, now before I welded this on, I had to make sure, because once I welded this plate on, I had to make sure I had these things on there first. Make sure you think your process is through before you decide to do stuff. Because you might get to the point to where you weld something together and realize, oh shoot, I forgot to put on those spacers and stuff. Yeah. So, make sure you guys pay attention to what you're doing. Alright, there we go. So, I thought I... These bolt, these nuts would work, but they don't. They're the wrong thread. So I'm gonna have to go down and get some, get some nuts for that, so it'll fit on there. And I'll have to curve those up a little bit, make it a little bit more better looking. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how. That's where I'm at right now. See, I didn't really get. It doesn't look like I got much done on this, but when it comes right down to it. When it, comes to, when it comes to your steering, you want to make sure that you get things lined up. Take the time to make sure all your alignments are right or halfway decent. Everything's at 90 degree angles or, or even or equal. You want to make sure of that because, you know, you just, your steering is very important. So it doesn't look like I got much done today, but I did. So uh, I'll talk with you guys later, and don't forget to thumbs up this video. But yeah, and that also reminds me, I just went and checked out my last video that I put on, and I had like 43 views, and only like three people thumbed up the video. You guys got to thumbs up these videos, you know. Got to do that, because if you don't, you're just not on board. You need to get on board, all right? That's something that somebody used to always say to me. And obviously, I walked out on his job. <laughs> I don't put up with that crap. <laughs> All right, take it easy, everybody. Thank you for using the T-Man video service. And remember, the videos you do not use will roll over to next month.